Hey everyone, Battlecrom here. We are in the Hunter Call of the Wild. And I thought, hey, you know, it might be fun just to do a little gameplay series on it. Um, and I thought, you know what, we'll just start a brand new character in this gameplay series. Because um, there's still people, you know, who might just be getting into this game. This game is still very active. And there's a DLC literally just released with this thing. I think it's a handgun DLC last week. I don't have it yet. There's a brand new map, which we're going to play on. I figure we'll start a brand new character on a brand new map. The, what is it, Revan Tuli or something? But yeah, let's go ahead and create this new character here. Alright, let's start this game up here on a brand new map. Revan Tuli Coast. Now, as far as DLCs go, I got, I got all the weapon packs. Uh, I think except for the new handgun one. Uh, I've got tents. I've got tripods. i got duck and geese. This map seems like it's a pretty big bird map, so I would say if you're going to play this map and you're wondering what DLCs to run, you run in the Duck and Geese DLC might be useful for you on this map. Hello, hello, hello. I'm very happy to this, see you, my friend. Here's Mr. Talks a lot. How are you? Uh, tired from it. All right, let's go ahead and open up this outpost. Yeah, so anyway, weapons packs. Uh, modern, modern Rifles is a really good one. Uh... The 308 in that is probably the best medium gun. Well, it's one of the best medium gun, guns in the whole game for sure. Medium rifles, that is. And uh, definitely the best one you can start out with. Uh, a close second on that would probably be the M1 Grand, which I think comes in the Smoking Barrels weapons pack. Uh, I prefer the 308, but they're both really good. Mainly, I prefer the 308 because uh, the recoil. It has less recoil. Uh, the other one I like, which is maybe not as often used by some people, I think it's a great early game moose gun, is the um, uh, the drilling rifle, which is in the shotgun category. I think that comes in weapon packs too, uh, because that's a game. Gosh, let's get this over with. Here's this guy. I'll stop talking here. Have a little. Hint. It's great. Thanks. You done talking now? This guy right here. I think this is a great early gun for big animals like moose because it uh, it comes with these bullets right here. Effective range 150. Um, I think the effective range on the 7 7 mm ammo is also 150. This gun doesn't zero out as far as a 7mm, so it's not as good in that category. But it's a break action, which is what the 7mm does. The penetration is the same here on the stats. Uh, my experience, though, with this is polymer tip. Okay. I think the expansion is the same. Yeah, see, these stats here all look the same. My experience has been, though, I get better penetration with the uh, the drilling rifles. So I think it's just a little bit more powerful, actually, than the 7mm. But the long-term, the 7mm probably beats it out because you can zero out the 7mm to 300 yards, and, and you can't do that with the drilling uh, rifle here. The drilling rifle is a little heavier. It's free. It is a tad heavier. But it's like a two-in-one gun, so it's also a 16-gauge double-barrel shotgun. So it's kind of a dual-use weapon there. Um, it's I, I I really like the drilling rifle. It's it's uh, it's one of my favorite big game guns in the, in the in the game. You know, as far as like shooting moose or even like bear, you could do bear pretty good with the 308 though too. But but this guy really get in there. Um, bison. Good for bison too. Until you can get into something a little, a little bigger or something. I don't know, like a 300 or something like this. Let's bring our four wheeler along. Okay. And I do have the uh, bloodhound pack, so we we want a bloodhound. These things are great. They save you so much time tracking. Because we, you know, in the beginning you got to really get out and and just go on like killing sprees and then when you got to find them all afterwards well that can get a little rough so using a hunting dog for that is fantastic it really speeds up the process i just love it okay so we got yeah we got rex okay so we need a little bit of cash here to get some ammo to start with 
we just got a thousand right there so we're just gonna run down the trail here and just hit a couple of these early missions here we'll do it on the quad because it'll be faster I mean we're gonna scare off all the animals we won't be able to shoot anything but this is a quick way or pretty easy way I guess to get just a little bit of cash up so we can buy some ammo for the loadout we want to use because I don't want to use this loadout I'll tell you what this guy he man he talks a lot I, I turned the volume of the dialogue down quite a bit here, so hopefully we don't have to listen to him too much. But man, this guy, when you're running missions, he just never shuts up. Just uh, the whole time you're running missions, he's just blah, 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 blah. Stay on the road here, Battlefront. Okay, so I think... I think this lookout uh, tower here is going to give us another thousand bucks here because it's a mission. Alright Rex, let's go. Stay out of the way though. Don't get in front of the quad. What are you doing? Uh, this way. Ooh, okay. Hit that. It's alright. Oh. Hey, there we go. There's another thousand. Let's do uh at least complete one more mission here. That should give us another thousand. That'll be enough to get us a little bit of ammo to start out. But I don't want to like, you know, spend like tons of time going through the missions. But honestly, I really haven't gone very far in the missions on this map. I just kind of just briefly explored it a little. Uh -oh. Big tree. Oh, another tree. Hold on. Stand real. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. I think. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. All right. All right. Turn. I think that's a cliff right there. We don't want to go that way. Uh oh. Yeah. I think. We gotta really stay on the path here on this. I'm pretty sure it takes us through some water here or something. I feel like this four-wheeler gets damaged down there in that water if you don't stay on the path here. Hey, another thousand. Uh, well, we might want to go for another thousand because I think all we got to do is like put rocks or something in that sauna and we get another thousand. Might as well do it. Right here. Is that an outpost right there? Oh, this is that sauna thing. I remember my brother. Oh, jeez. Come on, man. Mr. Long-Winded Dude. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I thought we were going to get another thousand for that. Perfect. All right, let's go. Uh, hmm, let's see. Let's. Okay, let's head on over here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to this lookout post here. And then we'll uh, we'll head up north up here to the uh, little swampy lakey area there. Hop on a four wheeler here. Rex, where are you? I don't know where Rex went. He'll catch up to us. Oh, okay. Back on the road. Oh, look, there's an outpost right there. We gotta unlock that. Looks like that's too big. There, there it is. As far as perks go, here in the beginning at least, we're going to put everything into rifles. Um, really, I, what I want to get to is zeroing. So we're just kind of kind of beeline for that, but we're going to unlock all of these right here for sure. So, But we got to start right there. Oh, we're in the wrong category here. Skills. Skills! I want to start an ambusher because I kind of want to get a beeline to resist right here. Holy moly, boy, they make this one hard to get to, don't they? Jeez. Alright, got another 100 XP. Looks like I unlocked another uh, outpost location down there, I think. And you know, while we're here, we should fix our loadout. Because we got money now. Okay, we want to get rid of this uh, 243 and the 12 gauge shotgun there. And uh, we don't need to carry that ammo around. We don't need this road deer thing there. Uh, that actually could come in handy. 
our workhorse right here is going to be the 308. I like the one with the camouflage on it. So let's get that. Let's get the polymer tip ammo. I mean, it, to me, I, I feel like penetration is better than expansion. Uh, that way you uh, increase your chances of getting a vital organ shot. We'll just get like 20 rounds of that for right now. We'll see where our money's at. Okay, rifles again. Let's get our small game rifle, which is going to be the uh, AR-15, the 223. Ammo's a lot cheaper here. Let's get uh, 20 rounds of that to start with. We'll get the 22 long rifle for any of like the birds or anything like that we come around for now. Yeah, this one right here, the cone, it's got, uh, it has more penetration. So let's get maybe uh, 20 rounds of that and maybe, maybe 30. Now we'll leave it at 20. That's good. Come on, Rex. Let's go. Wait. How did we get completely turned around here? We did, didn't we? Oh, we're going completely the wrong way. What in the heck? Man. How did that happen? Rex? How come you didn't tell me I was going the wrong way? She's been barking at me. I see a light up there. That's our outpost. Oh, we found it. Woohoo! Alright. We are here. Let's claim this outpost. My information is correct. This area right here, this is a pretty good area here for animals. And there's a lot of drink zones in there for whitetail, some moose, uh, even some lynx in here. I think the lynx is pretty good in here. And so I think we're, yeah, we're just going to start our hunt here. What I want is a tripod. We're going to use one of these tripods here. Again, I don't know if I mentioned it, but as far as DLCs go, I think tents are must-have. And these tripods and tree stands are also like very, very good ones to have. Uh, mainly because of the zones. Uh, if you shoot animals in a zone on foot, you can only shoot three animals uh, right next to a zone. Uh, because once you shoot the fourth animal, or if you shoot four or more, then you'll despawn the zone. The zone will eventually respawn. Uh, no zone goes away forever, but you don't know where it'll respawn. You'll have to find it again. Could be a long ways away. Uh, with If you're on a tripod or a tree stand, and I think it counts for these blinds here also, uh, you can actually shoot 15 animals, and it won't despawn until you hit the 16th one. So for the purposes of just going in there and going on a killing spree here because we need money and XP it's best if we use a tripod and then we can keep those uh, those need zones alive we don't I don't know destroy them despawn them whatever you want to call it we'll head out over there towards the lake about 5 a.m. we'll have a little bit of light out there and we should be able to spot some of them links or should we go up maybe fourth 30 a.m. I feel like we'll have a little bit of light. Enough light to do something there. And then maybe we'll get lucky and we can get a couple cracks off on them lakes. Okay. The lakes over that direction? Yes, they are. We're going to walk in there. We don't want to ride our quad in there. We'll just scare the hell out of everything. So we're just going to walk in there here. Try to keep an eye out. I don't want to crouch unless I feel like I need to. Because, uh, man, it's really slow getting around if you crouch. I don't want to go in here too fast, though. Uh, we found a bear drinking. Bear drink this late? Huh. Birdie over there. There it is. It's a feed zone. Okay. Found us some zones. This is good. That is 200 yards out. That's kind of a long shot there for what I got. Brown bear watering zone. Yeah, see, look, they're supposed to be done by midnight. I was drinking here at five, almost 5 o'clock in the morning. Something right there. Western Cat. What is that? Is 
that some kind of goose or something? I don't know what kind of bird that is. Man, there are so many birds on this map. It's gonna take me a while to figure them all out, I think. Oh, there's the lynx right there. He's traveling. How far out is that guy? That lynx is 289 yards out. Place a marker there for right now. You know, we should probably skirt this side. Then the wind won't be as much of a problem for us. Oh, we spooked the bear. There he goes. Bear's gone, gone, gone. Terrible wind. Let's work around. Maybe kind of over to here and we'll set up our tripod. Where is that lynx at? Oh, is that a lynx right there? Yeah, something's behind that tree. The binoculars aren't good enough. It sure looks like it. I think that's a lynx. Yeah, it's moving. There's a lynx behind that tree there. I was hoping we see a lot more. Oh, there's one right there. There we go. Okay, we got a drinking zone for the lynx there. Our first one. So what I kind of want to do is I just kind of want to get in here, and discover some of the zones here around this lake. Figure out where I can find these guys. That's whitetail right there in it. That's a eating zone. Get down, look out here. Can't spot any more lynx. There's a lynx right there. There's another drinking zone. Where? That's the other one we saw earlier or not. I might be sneaking by them whitetail. They haven't done a warning call yet. Sense me blowing straight out that way. What is that? Uh -oh. We got close to a lynx. Yeah, he's traveling now. We spooked him up. We'll sit up right here. He's just kind of standing there. What else do we got around here? Oh, here's another lynx. Another one. Nice. Okay, whitetail feed zone. Good, good. Now we're finding a lot of stuff here. And moose feed zone. There's another lynx right there. Oh, good. There's like four lynx here. He's coming back. Let's get out the 223 here. Let's see if we can pop a couple of these lynx. Oh, it's real tiny in that scope. Where's the other ones at? Is one closer? Oh, that wasn't the one. It's over here, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the closest one for sure. Is he going down? Oh, he's down now. Yeah, we got a little bit of hunting pressure there. Well, you're right there. We might as well take you out. Is it down? Jeez, how many times have we got to hit that sucker? It's down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. We didn't spook the uh, white tail they're eating right there. Base range on that is 150, so we just have to aim a little bit high. Just the hard part is going to be our scope. It's not so great. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's like a little tiny dot. Holy moly. Breathe. Breathe. It's going to be a tough shot. Oh, hold on, what's that? Another whitetail feeds on. Man, and this place is going to be crawling with whitetail, let me tell you. Oh, so tiny. Whew. All right. I think we got to, like, aim at the top of its back. Oh, that was way off. Let's see if we get one more on him. That was way over his head. Way too high of a shot. One more try. That was pretty good. I think we might have hit him with that. Let's see if he goes down, I guess. We definitely winged him, I think. I just don't know if we got a good enough shot on him or not. We really need the Hyperion scope as soon as we can get it. 
Okay, we got hunting pressure up there, so we did bring down that lynx. He probably traveled quite a ways, so he's gonna be probably out there somewhere. That's all right, our hound dog Rex, Rex will find him. Okay, so what time is it? 6.40, we got about an hour and 20 minutes till eight o'clock hits and those white tails start coming in and we can find our drink zones. Well, it looks like we can level up Rex here. Right? Oh yeah. All right, so we want, uh, want him to be a better tracker. I don't really care about that too much. Ooh, hello. Looks like we got another one coming along. Oh man. We need to put some more spray on. Well, let's see how close he comes. Maybe we can get a shot off on this one too. This would be our third Eurasian lynx here if we got it. Let's go, buddy. I think we might have a kill shot there. Behind the shoulder. Look good. Still moving though. You can get another shot off on him. Oh, he just went down. Okay. I think he was going to go down anyway. I'm not sure that finished him off, but we got him. That's uh, three Eurasian lynx that we got. Nice. I'm excited. Three Eurasian lynx now? I don't think I've actually killed one yet. I only played briefly on this map, so these are going to be my first ones, actually. See if we got any more in the area we might be able to call in. What's that out? Oh. Looks like one of them mountain hares or something there, doesn't it? Something running way out there. Huh. Finally got to see one. Oh. Got more of these guys coming in, huh? How far out is that? That is hundred. That's perfect for my twenty-two. All right, well, you guys done made a mistake. I think I'm going to have to take care of you. Let's see, maybe we can get that one and this one. Oh, wait, there's two right next to each other. All right, let's see what we can do here. There we go. Got that one. That one, too. down oh all right that's a lot of hunting pressure we just put right there though whoa man yeah hope them birds pay well because we just shot four of them and we could probably get one of them i bet i have to go this oh, oh still though. i don't want you running get them down. Get a shot on the other one. Keep running. I don't know where the shot placement went on that. He dropped down though for a second, didn't he? Didn't he hit the ground and then stand back up? I don't know how good a shot they are with this skill. Let's see. Okay, that one's down. We got one of them down. Let's see. Well, we got hunting pressure over there for one of them at least. One for sure we got. I figure since they're over there, it's gonna put the hunt pressure way away from where it is now. So that's why I took that shot. Those predators pay well too. We're gonna get some good money off them bears. Oh crap, are they all gone? <laughs> I think we spooked them up. Oh shit. Right back, here we go. Shoot him right, right over here somewhere, right? No, don't run, no. Just walk. There you go, Rex. Come on, buddy. There's a blood trail right there. Oh, look at that. There is some kind of zone right here. I think we can discover it. That's what they're here for. They're here drinking. Did you find one yet, Rex? What is that over there? Oh, that was the first lynx we killed, huh? 
Hey, good job, Rex. Good job, buddy. Hey, those guys do pay pretty good. Look at that. Alright. Find us another one, Rex. Uh, he's right behind you. Oh, now he's dead. Okay. Nice. Those things pay well. Look at that. Alright, come back over here, Rex. We got more birds to find. Buddy, you got this. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job, Riggs. All right, come on back over here now. Find him. Good job, Riggs. Good job, buddy. Some geese flying by. Oh, are they coming in for landing? Hold on. Got a goose feed zone over here. Dang. Might end up just eating a, shooting a bunch of birds instead of shooting uh, something else here. Is there more coming in? Sounds like it. Let's see. Let's see what you can do right here. Damn, I think we only got one. <laughs> I knew I should have bought more 22 long rifle ammo. Crap. I think there's a bunch of them. There must be a zone form over there or something. Oh, yeah, look at that. Dang, I'm definitely bringing more 22 long rifle next time. This is crazy. Where'd it go? Yeah, this is that one that we were shooting at from a long ways away. <laughs> See what we get there. We got took out a leg there, took out another leg there, took out a spell. <laughs> we shot everything but a major organ on him. Good job, buddy. Still not a very good shot, though, huh? Gotta get a better scope. Let's try it again. Right in front of you, man. All right, <laughs> we'll just grab it. Just let him finish oh, looking for it. Oh, yeah, oh, he got it. Oh. Got him right in the backbone there or something. A nice quick kill on that. Those, those things pay pretty good. Black grouse, that's a gold. Oh, 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 oh. And that bird pays pretty good. All right, let's go get them bears. There's some white tail that finally came in. There's a buck. Oh man, how far out are those guys? They're 220. 159, okay. I want to try to get any closer to this. Should be able to place it here now. Yep, I don't think they spooked. I think we're alright. And. Oh, that's too high. Yep, we got that one. That was too high. Ah, uh, we can't hold our breath anymore. Let's see. Let's just wing it. Oh, they're turning back around. What are they doing? Where are you going? Oh, we knocked it straight down. Look at that. We gotta reload. I think we might. We definitely got two of them. Maybe three. Let's see if we can get this one. Oh, all still. Now we couldn't hold our breath anymore. I don't know what's she doing? She stopped. That was too high. Uh, we can't hold our breath. 
<laughs> I think we hit it, but we hit it low. Yeah, it's wounded. That was low. Probably miss. Well, let's have a look. It's quite a bit of hunting pressure here. I think we may have gotten three of them. I don't know about that last one. If we legged it or something, no, it might bleed out. It might drop two. Yeah, oh, there's one right there. He's a floater. And then we got 80% consecutive bonus here. We'll take it. That was... That was a good shot. We got a lung. We lunged it. We one lunged it. Nice. It's not picking up on anything, I don't think. Oh, no. He got something. Oh, 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 oh. Good job, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Is that a rare? Look at the color on that. I think we better save that one. That is a nice pay on that one. Yeah, lunged it. Oh, there we go. That's three on the white tail. Jeez, yeah, that one dropped right there. Look at that. Double lunged it. That's nice. That one was a beauty of a shot. Good job, Rex. Man, we just took out a leg. That's all we did. Now we were shooting at this thing from like 400 yards or something ridiculous. Doesn't it say how far the shot was? Right? Distance. It's only 224 yards. Man, we need a better scope. Felt like it was so much more than that. Well, we found a lot of zones. Man, we sure took a lot of animals out of there. Let's head back over here. Just fast travel, even though we're right next to it. Well, let's see. We made. Hey, that's not bad. We made $12,000. We got quite a few birds. Big lesson I learned there is, man, we need a lot more 22 uh, rounds for sure. Let's see, what's, uh, we want to unlock Hyperion. I got us more than halfway there. One more good hunt like that, and we'll have that unlocked. So we don't have to worry about having money for that right away. The drilling rifle. If we're going to do a moose hunt, I want the drilling rifle for that, for sure. Let's go ahead and fast travel down there. Alright, I think this might be a good place to end the episode here for our first hunt. Then we're going to come over here to Lake Kakaset on uh, the next episode and see if we can find some moose around there. Their drink times start uh, 12 to 12.30 and they run all the way to 16. So we got a good four or five hour window there to look for moose. And I bet you we can find some around here. We'll see if we can find some drink zones there. Uh, we just got to change our load out in the beginning of the next episode. Get my moose rifle out, the drilling rifle. And then we'll get over here and see if we can find some moose.